Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to view the sunrise and sunset data. But unlike in my previous video, we're not going to be looking at it for our current location. I'm going to show you how to look at it for a different location. Uh, so I like to start my videos by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Non-Tactical. Shouldn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, this video should work regardless of if it's solar, non-solar, tactical or not tactical. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So uh, a while back I did a video where I showed you how you can add the sunrise and sunset data to your watch face as a data element. And I also showed you how you can add it as a widget in your widget wheel. And that's what I've successfully done here. Now, if you don't know how to do this stuff, maybe I'll link a video, uh, uh, maybe I'll hyperlink my original video to this one so you learn kind of the basics of how to get it on your watch and then we'll go into the details of how you can change your location. You press the GPS button while you're in the uh, widget. You can use the up or down button to change the dates and see what the sunrise and sunset data will be for a future date, which is great. But what if you want to see it for a location other than your current location? So notice right now, January 21st, the sunrise is at 718 this morning. Sunset is at 5.49 p.m. this afternoon. If I want to see that information for a different location, while we're on the widget, all you're going to do is press and hold the menu button. And by default, what should come up first is location equals current location. It's always going to use your current location when you go into the widget. To change that, we just press GPS. And you've got a couple different options in here. One of them is coordinates. You can actually choose this in inner GPS coordinates to see the sunrise and sunset data for any GPS location that you know. Or you can go into your saved locations by pressing GPS on saved locations. And you can scroll through all of your locations and pick one that you want to see the sunrise and sunset data for. So for example, deer feeder, this is where I hunt at. If I want to see the information for my hunting location, I'm going to choose that. You'll see up here it says deer feeder. It's so using my deer feeder location, and you'll notice that the sunrise and sunset data has changed a little bit versus my current location. I hunt about 80 miles from my current location, so it's understandable that there's a little bit of a difference between the sunrise and sunset from my deer feeder location and my current location. Again, you can use the up or down button to go look at information in the future or past. I find this kind of beneficial if uh, maybe you're somebody who you're sitting at your desk working and you're thinking about going camping next week and you want to see what's the sunrise and sunset data going to be at the place you're camping, you can do that by successfully changing your location in here and then looking to the future so you can predict that information. The other thing I'll say, I'm going to go ahead and press menu. Other than your, uh, other than your saved locations, it also shows you a history of the most recent locations you've used. You can toggle to any one of those to see the sunrise and sunset data for those as well. If you go into save locations, you'll see those as well as every other save location that you've got. Once you're done, you'll just press the back button until you're back to your main screen. Again, once you're back to your main screen, if you go back into that widget, it's always going to use your current location by default. You have to press the menu button choose a different location if you want to see a different location's information. I hope that makes sense. Not very complicated at all, but if you've got any questions, post them in the comments and I'll try and help you out. As always, thanks for watching.